YouTube, how you doing? Murph here bringing you another product review. Today's review is going to be on a special keyboard. This is the Ducky 1-2 Mini Year of the Rat Limited Edition. Every year Ducky updates their custom space bars to reflect the year of the Chinese Zodiac and 2019 was the year of the pig and 2020 was year of the rat. So they released a Year of the Rat limited edition. They also number these pieces in accordance to whatever the year it was. Last year was 2020. Therefore, they made 2020 of these keyboards. The version of this keyboard this year retails for $200. As you can see, it comes in its own collection box labeled Year of the Rat edition, ducky branding. On the back of the box here, it says, a timeless 60% keyboard embodying the distinctive charisma of modern street art. Now this is packaged differently than the other Ducky 1-2 Minis that you can buy, not just on the outside of the box, but on the inside of the box as well. You're going to find some different things in there, one of which is this mouse pad right here. It actually comes with its own extra large mouse pad to match the keyboard itself, which is right here. This comes in a few different Cherry MX switch types. The one I have right here is the Cherry MX Silvers. Also inside of the box, you're gonna find a little instruction manual booklet. Like other Ducky 1-2 Minis, you're gonna get a keycap puller as well. This one is in green to match the keyboard. You're also gonna get a little keychain here with an actual functional mechanical switch. I was curious if this keychain would actually match the switch type that you buy, um, but it does not. It's a Cherry MX Blue Switch. It's also going to come with a couple of different escape key options. You have the one that comes on the keyboard here, which is the bounce mouse, and then you have an orange one here, and then you get another one here in black. And then you get one here that says bounce, not only for bounce mouse, but for the actual artist bounce. And this is also in the box that you get. And it explains that he's a Taiwan graffiti artist and he was commissioned by Ducky to kind of design this keyboard and the mouse pad. There's one more thing that's in the box, but I'll talk about that in a moment because it actually ties into one of the best features about this keyboard, but Moving on to the keyboard, this is what you're gonna get. We already discussed the escape keys that you can put onto the keyboard if you wanna switch it up. You can also see the bounce mouse with the kind of sideways arrow there for the enter key. And then the rest of the keys are just kind of designed to look like graffiti was just kind of spray painted onto these keys. And as Ducky is always known for their custom space bars, this pretty much looks just like the Year of the Mouse Edition space bar, which I actually have here on this pure white Ducky 1-2 Mini, which is going to be given away actually. Not in this video, but um, probably here in the next month or two, I'm going to be giving away this Ducky 1-2 Mini. So if you guys are interested, make sure you keep an eye on my videos as well as my Discord to find out when that giveaway is going live. But as you can see, the space bars are the same, but this one is custom colored and looks pretty cool. Now on the underside of this keyboard, it comes with a gold base plate. So as you can see, it's got Year of the Rat Edition, Ducky, and then you've got the serial number and you can even see here it's labeled number 1382 out of 2020. So like I said before, they only made 2020 of these and then it tells you which one specifically that you have. And of course, it's even got a design on the back as well. So you can tell they put a lot of effort into this keyboard. And frankly, it's because of stuff like that that I think it's worth the $200 retail, arguably even a little bit more if you can get your hands on it. Just the attention to detail and the quality of this keyboard is, is pretty crazy. Just like the original Ducky 1-2 Mini, it's got the rubber adjustable feet that can be set at three different angles. Well, it can be set at two different angles, but then you've got the flat angle as well. Rubber feet on the front here. You've got the four dip switches, just like the regular Ducky 1-2 Mini. And then if you look on the front of the keyboard here, again, it's labeled 1382 out of 2020. 
just for authentication purposes, as well as letting you know which number that you have. Now, this isn't a comparison video between this and the Deki One 2 Mini, but just to point out a few key similarities and differences that you should be aware of if you're going to pick up this keyboard is on the original Deki One 2 Mini, on the front of the keys, you can see they've got different functions like page down, end, home, page up, things like that. And it's labeled really well to let you know what the function keys are and you don't have that on this keyboard. The functions still work the same, they're just not labeled. So if you're not used to a Ducky One Too Mini, you're gonna have to have your manual available to go through some of those functions. The keyboard overall is gonna be pretty much the same as the Ducky One Too Mini, outside of obviously the styling. It's the same size and all of that. And then the main difference between this and the original Ducky One Too Mini, and this just kind of ties into what this keyboard is all about in general, is the other thing that is in this box that I told you I would mention later is this right here. And this is a keycap puller on this side, but most importantly on this side, it is a switch puller. And that's significant because this is the first Ducky 1-2 series to have hot swappable switches, which is really cool, especially when you're spending that much on a keyboard. The ability to swap out switches to either just switch it up for your preference or for some reason one of your switches went bad or the RGB stopped working on it, you could get in there and switch these out. Now it's unclear if this is kind of foretelling where they're going to go in the future, if all Ducky 1-2 Minis are going to eventually be hot swappable or if that's just something they did for this limited edition keyboard. Hopefully that comes to all Ducky 1-2 series keyboards but at least for this model here, that's a pretty cool feature. Now, most of you are probably pretty familiar with Ducky 1-2 Minis anyways. I'm sure you've seen other reviews or you might already own one. If you haven't seen a full review for a Ducky 1-2 Mini, I'll put a link in the description down below to my actual Ducky 1-2 Mini review. If you want to take a look at that, but I will show you just kind of how the RGB looks on this. It does not have RGB pass-through, obviously, so all of that light is going to be coming from in between the keys. Now, just like the original Ducky 1-2 Mini, to switch between the RGB options, you're going to hold FN, Alt, and hit T. And it's a little bit harder to do this because there is no RGB pass through, but just like the other Ducky 1-2 Mini, if you F in Alt and then Spacebar on one of these modes, it will light up different colors and then you can just select the color that you want. For example, I can see that this one over here is blue, so I'll hit that. And now for these modes, those keys will be blue. If I want to switch up the color again, I hold F and Alt, hit the space bar, and for example, I can choose green, and now you've got green. And then if you ever want to reset your keyboard, again, just like the original Ducky 1-2 Mini, hold the two Windows keys down for about three seconds, and then once it shuts off, it'll reboot itself back to that kind of wave mode, which is the default. Now, most of you already know what Cherry MX Silver sound like, but just to give you a quick typing test. One thing I notice about this keyboard is that the space bar sounds a lot better than the original Ducky 1 Too Mini. The original was a little bit tinny. This has a little bit more of a thud sound to it, so it sounds pretty good. So your typical Cherry MX Silvers on this one, but again, you can just swap these out if you wanted to, so you can customize it a little bit more to your liking. I'm already a big fan of the Ducky 1-2 Mini in the first place, but this is just really, really cool. If you can even find this at retail, I highly recommend buying it. And if you can't find these for retail, I've been seeing them online 
for upwards of $400. Really at that point, this becomes how much are you willing to pay? And of course, it's just a nice keyboard and a cool collector's piece. And I really love that it came with its own custom extra large mouse pad as well. That's a really nice touch. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want to continue seeing other content like this, such as tech reviews, gaming accessory reviews, stream tutorials, anything like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, make sure you guys join the Discord server as well. I'll post a link in the description. You'll be notified when I go live on Twitch, when I post new videos to YouTube, and you'll be notified of any giveaways that are going on. One of which, like I said, will be this uh, coming up here in the next month or two. I'll make sure to remind everybody of that in the Discord as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. YouTube, we'll catch you later.